Hello and welcome to this week's issue of BRN United. I'm delighted this uh, Tuesday before Christmas to express to you on behalf of your Baptist Resource Network family, the staff here in Harrisburg, uh, our consultants that are scattered across Pennsylvania and South Jersey, a very Merry Christmas and the best wishes for a happy, happy new year. I love this time of year, don't you? You know, I didn't grow up in a, in a Christian home and and one of my first memories of, of Christmas as it relates to church was coming back to visit my grandmother. I was not quite a teenager at that point, and uh, we would go to her church for the services Christmas Eve and Christmas. And I remember going to the, to the church service uh, in which they would give out gifts to the, to the children that were present. And I was always amazed that somehow people there, because uh, we lived in California at the time, knew exactly what kind of gift I would love to receive from, for Christmas. And so I would cherish that gift that I got at the church, even though at that point I was not yet a believer and my family were not believers. A few years later, uh, we moved back to Missouri and I became a part of that church. At this point, I'd made a commitment to Christ. My mother had, my father had, and my sister. So we became very active in that church. And I remember those Christmases where we would dress up in, in the uh, the old bathrobes of our fathers and play the role of shepherds or or a little nicer robe and be one of the wise men and use aluminum foil and a coat hanger to make a, a halo to have over our heads if we were the angel and an old curtain we'd pull across a, a piece of wire that we'd strung across the stage to celebrate Christmas. Christmas is a wonderful time for memories. I remember the first Christmas that I spent in Indonesia uh, as a missionary with our International Mission Board of course, in Indonesia, the, the predominant religion is not Christianity, it's Islam. Uh, it was always intriguing to me to find vestiges of Christmas celebration all around the city where I lived, even though the, the people who were doing that were not necessarily people who were believers in Christ as their Lord and Savior. I worked at the Baptist Student Center, and we would put on a program every year using students and staff to tell the Christmas story, kind of a Christmas cantata, if you will, written and directed and acted by the students there and the staff at the Baptist Student Center. Uh, they used to love to sing Away in a Manger. There's one lady in particular that was one of our, one of our students, and uh, she loved to sing the lead part for Away in a Manger. And I can still hear her sing every time I hear that uh, Christmas carol. And she would sing, Round Yon Virgin, Mother and Child. Round Yon Virgin, Mother and Child. Wonderful, wonderful memories. One of my best memories is as a church planter, when we decided to use the Christmas celebration as a time for outreach into our community. And so we were busy networking with our neighbors and people across the community, uh, inviting them to come and participate in the Christmas celebration. And so we put on a, an incredible production. There was drama, there was music, we had a small orchestra. I mean, it was an incredible, incredible production. Now, what was scary about that was that it took everyone in the church at the time to staff that production. And so I remember gathering in the basement before we came up into the auditorium for the production. And we were all very, very uh, nervous. Would there be anyone present? Because all of us were there in the production. And my, how we were so excited to see that God had been so gracious and we literally walked into an auditorium that we had, they had to make a way for us to walk through because the room was packed to celebrate Christmas. Christmas is a great time for sharing memories. And I pray that this will be a season that you enjoy wonderful memories of Christmas past, but also create new and wonderful memories for Christmas present. But there's another part of the Christmas experience that is really, really important because you see Christmas is also about choices. When you think about the choice that Mary made when she was uh, told by the angel that she was going to, to give birth to the Son of God, and here she was, this young, unmarried girl who was uh, betrothed, engaged uh, to Joseph. And my, she could have responded in so many different ways, but uh, she responded in, in, in obedience and submission to the call of God for her to be the mother of Jesus. Think about Joseph family and friends, the, the society was, was in, in shock and horror that this woman that he was going to marry was, was pregnant and it wasn't with his child and what would Joseph do? But he was convinced as God appeared to him through the angels in his dreams that this was something that God was asking him to provide, a, be an earthly father for this very, very special child. 
And of course there was Herod. Herod because of his ego and, and his selfishness and his fear and the desire for power. Uh, could not accept that the gift of this child could be, uh, could be a wonderment. He, he was convinced that this was somehow going to uh, be a challenge to him and to his power and authority. And so he made the choice to try to have the child killed. You know, the story of Jesus is really the story of a choice that God made. You know, God so loved the world that he sent his son, that God chose, in spite of our sin, in spite of all the things that we've done in disobedience, God chose to demonstrate his love by sending his son. And Jesus ultimately demonstrated that when he chose to go to the cross, that in his death on the cross, our sins would be forgiven. So Christmas is a time of wonderful memories, but it's also a time to be reminded that God made a choice to love us through his son, Jesus. I pray that this Christmas will be a time in which you experience anew and afresh that incredible choice that God made to love us through the gift of his son. And may he reign as Lord supreme in your life. May he be King Jesus, not just baby Jesus during this Christmas season. God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas. I look forward to talking with you next week. We're going to look at a special topic in looking at January as a month uh, that Southern Baptists are being called to prayer. So I look forward to talking with you next week. God bless and have a Merry Christmas.